everybody, this is John at Simply Sprouts Farm, and today we're going to talk a little bit about chicken feed and making your own. Uh, we added chickens to our flock uh, in June of this year, and um, I'm going to show you what I've learned so far, and uh, hopefully my two cents is worth it. So let's talk about making our own chicken feed. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so here's two things that I've learned so far. And you know, they talk about the chickens, and here's our assembly table here, which is going crazy. But they talk about our chickens, uh, you know, they want corn and they want oats. So, you know, we got this big old thing of producer pride, you know, cracked corn over here, and I got oats in the other room, and it's getting to be winter here in Virginia, so we're gonna add the corn and back off the oats. But if you look at corn and oats, the percentage of protein form is, is not that great. Uh, most corn um, is at 7% and most uh, oats is at 9 So, you know, if you really, if you're just going to feed them that, uh, you know, most of the time your, uh, your flock needs between 18 and 20% and that's just not going to cut it. So, in fact, I found this one. This is a Royal Wing uh, shelled corn here. And look at this. Minimum crude proteins five percent. I mean that's awful. And it's okay. Well, we'll you know, we'll give them some barley. Got some barley here. Barley seven percent. Okay. All right. So what else can we give them? Well, the other thing you hear a lot of is let's give them some whole wheat. Whole wheat ten percent. So any of those that you add in is really going to be. Uh, you know, it's going to be a struggle to get you to 20% unless you put some more stuff in. So the question becomes, what can you find out here that chickens will eat that can kind of balance you out? And the other question is, a lot of these, you just can't really look at the label and immediately figure out. I mean, these are great here. This is from Scratch and Pick Feeds, and it tells you right on there. Crude protein, crude fat, tells you what it is. But some of these don't. So first I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, so as many as you know, I, I'm an accountant by day. And this kind of drives me crazy. Because I have seen several, this is nutritional yeast. I have seen several videos where they got the whole thing wrong. Okay, the two things you need to look on here, like see here at protein, is 8 grams. Okay. And then the servings per container is, is 28, and the serving size is 16, okay? And you got all these percentages. All these percentages here are daily value percentages. They're not protein percentages. And I've seen people look down and go, oh, yeah, this is great because, you know, the protein's listed here, and it's, you know, 12% or 19%. It's like this has nothing to do with the percentage of protein. You look at the serving size, 16 grams, and the protein is eight. That means 50% of nutritional yeast is uh, protein. So that'll certainly help you counterbalance out these seven, nine, and 10 percenters. But here's, let me show you some other ones I found. Split peas, and the, the chickens love these split peas here. Um, and the, the green uh, split peas, these are, this one's really hard to read. Um, but, uh, you know, it's, it's 13 grams, which is 26%. Okay? That's daily value. Okay? 
again, this is where people are screwing up on these things. It's not the percentage next to them. It's 13 grams, right, over the serving size, which is 40. So you take 13 over 40, and whatever that is, uh, you know, certainly that's about, that's over 25%. So this is good too. And you have to do the math on these, but this is, people are constantly messing this up on videos. It's kind of crazy. This one here is wheat germ from Bob's Red Mill. And of course they put this thing on the side here, but again, you, you gotta look at, okay, my serving size whoops, is 11 grams. And where's the protein on this guy? Protein's three. Three over 11, that's like high 20%. So again, this will help you balance things out. But the big kahuna, let's get this corn out of the way, which is awful. The big kahuna is dried, freeze-dried liver. And it's for dogs, okay? Freeze-dried liver. I've tried it on my chickens, they like it, they eat it. So this is just one brand here. And I got this brand because it has the highest protein per cost, okay? I just found this at the local store. And check this out, guys. 67.6%. That'll help you balance some things out. And here's another one that'll help you. Stuff's called hemp hearts, okay? Serving size is 30 grams. Protein's 10. So that's 33.3%. So you add these things in. You know, you can certainly uh, get a, you know, a good mix. Like here's, uh, here's sesame seeds. Everybody talks about sesame seeds. And they're great. And this brand here is White Hold o Organic. And you know, serving size is 15 grams. And protein is four. That's pretty good. That's, well, that's over 30%. However, if you look at this one here, I haven't taken this one out of the bag yet. But if you look at this one here, serving size on this one, nine grams, and protein is 1.6. Not quite as good. And I've seen some videos that talk about, oh, you know, all flax seeds 36%, all corn is nine, all but that is not true, guys. Okay, guys, so this here is um, certainly very expensive. I mean, I ordered a lot of this online through Amazon, through Scratch and Peck Feeds, through Azure Standard. I don't, and, you know, I'm not endorsed by any of those guys, so shop around. But you certainly don't want to just feed them this. And, you know, you want to give them your Scratch and um, your, you know, your layer feed or whatever, and certainly calcium and things of that nature. But this will get your protein really high if you want it. And it'll certainly make your, your chickies very happy and healthy. And certainly that's what we want. Next time in our video, we'll show you how we're making this stuff. And so stay tuned for that. And this is John at Simply Sprouts Farm saying have a great day. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>